Good evening. Jeff Bixby for this week in gay history from Cincinnati, Ohio. Born in New York City, August 16th, 1888, actor Monty Woolley. Among his films, The Man Who Came to Dinner, The Pied Piper, and Since You Went Away. Now, the organization of men of all colors together can claim him as one of their own because he fell in love with one of his employees, a black manservant, and the two lived together for many years. August 17th is the birth date of the late, great Mae West. She showed us all that sex is funny, and she was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1892. August 18th, English artist Sir Francis Rose, born in 1908, and American writer Alice Adams. Read a collection of her short stories, To See You Again, and her novel, Rich Rewards, about a group of San Francisco women. August 19th is the birthday of famous designer Coco Chanel, born in France in 1883. August 20th is, or would have been, the birthday of famous theologian Paul Tillich. He would have been 100 this year, and he called himself a latent homosexual. August 22nd is the birthday of James, a writer James Kirkwood, born in Los Angeles in 1927. He was the author of the book on which a chorus line was based. And if you want some further reading of his with a gay sub theme, read There Must Be a Pony and Good Times, Bad Times. And if you really want a good hearty laugh, read P.S. Your Cat is Dead. August 23rd is the birthday of Henry Gerber, founder of America's first homophile organization, the Society for Human Rights, chartered in Chicago in 1924. The price he paid for his belief in democracy cost him his job with the United States Postal Service in Chicago. I'm Jeff Bixby, and that's This Week in Gay History.